This is actually a really big moment for me personally because this is the biggest croc I have ever head jumped and it's all about timing. Every, everyone come in, everyone come in. Let's, okay, I'm, whenever you are ready, Robert, I'm happy. All right, jump team ready? Yeah, yeah. Go! Get that tail straight. I need more help. <laughs> We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. OK. All right, I just need some lift here. I've got to tape this mouth up. Whoa. Hang on. You all right? You all right, Good, good. Yep. Great jump, buddy. Thank you. Even though we've got all these people on him, we're holding him down, we're using all of our weight and all our strength. He could, he could still give us a bit of a go. Now comes the point where we're actually going to put him into the box. Yep, coming through. And this is a very crucial point. Okay, okay, that'll do. Oh, you big dinosaur, you. If we could just lift up. Uh, Toby's just looping the last few ropes on his head to make sure his jaws are secure when we jump off of him. We're going to put the front of his head in the box and um, get him in there. But he is such a powerful croc. He's a really big boy. So let's get the box in a bit more. Can I have the ramp, please? We can lift that head up. You feel the breath come up on your face. That's the most spooky thing. I mean, just talking about it, the hairs on the neck oh, stand up straight. There'll be an initial group of people get off the croc. When I say now, that's your cue to pull him into the box. Hey, Tobe. Hey, um, just, just um, something to think about, because I've done this before, it's all pulled into the box. Yeah. So if he doesn't get off on now and they... Yeah, yeah. So um, I would just make sure that he's clear before they pull. OK, guys, so everybody split up good. All right, so we'll listen up and listen carefully, because we don't want to pull Robert into the box. You've all got a good enough footing. Everyone's got a bit of rope ready to pull it through. OK, we all ready? Everyone wiggle your toes. Make sure your legs are working. OK. Go. Now. Now, now, go, go! Go, 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 go. Hang on, let's go. <laughs> Great jump. Oh, thanks for grabbing me, Belt. Thanks Woo. very much. Oh. Hey, he's a big boy, isn't he? How's when you're going in on him, you're like, whoa, whoa that's like, a hang good on. Crocky. This is big. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping him was an experience I will never, ever forget. I am just filled with adrenaline right now. Whew. Nice one, mate. Thanks. Here he comes. Awesome, Robert. Like all reticulated pythons, she is a meat eater. So if you look at the size of her body, that's about the size of the animal that she would try to eat. So I'd have to say this is a risk for Robert because a reticulated python can be very overpowering. Good job, mate. Good boy. If she were to have a defense response and grab Robert, that's why we've got the team here to be able to help unravel her and keep him safe. It's different, isn't it? You've got so many people moving around, standing their feet, shifting in their chairs, and he can sense vibration really well, even in the water. So you really have to be very, very careful Yeah, it's up to you now. Hey, good boy. Good boy, what do you reckon? There you go. You're all right. He's gonna... It's 
so good to see them in the water. I mean, they spend a lot of their time swimming and in the wild, so it's great for them to be able to stretch out and swim. Wes is younger than me and has been here longer than me. He was Steve's best friend and knows so much about snakes, so it's really nice that he and Robert can do this together. Dad always loved snakes, but he never got to swim with a reticulated python. Snakes aren't just good at crawling along the ground. Some of them, like Gloria, can also swim. So she gets to explore underwater, and it feels really good. And in the wild, they would seek out the water to help them shed their skin. So the reticulated python grows to be the longest snake, and they'll live to be about 40 years old. It's a pretty amazing experience to be diving down underwater and just watching this snake moving through like poetry in motion. It's absolutely magical. You guys, thank you so much. Good job, you guys. Really a great day. Gloria's happy, her health is always paramount and we were able to keep her happy, stress-free and, and get her going, getting that great mental and physical exercise. Thank you, baby snake. But also, we educated so many people about how beautiful reticulated pythons are. Holy guacamole, that was cool. Now well I'm gonna give you a hug because I'm all wet. No. Ah. <laughs> Good job, uh, that guys. Good, that was fantastic. That was sure. Good wrangling, mate. I think Perfection. everyone enjoyed it too. Mission success. Gloria had a great time. The crowd loved it, of course, seeing such an incredible animal move in such a different way that they've probably never seen before. And Robert comes out safe, and um, you know, he's an A1 Wrangler, so he did a great job. So now, they're taking Akko, the 16-foot croc, 20-foot up in the air, all the way to his enclosure. It's crazy to think that the biggest croc in the zoo is currently in that box. It's amazing. Big male crocodiles, ironically, suffer from stress more than pretty much any other animal. So the, uh, the pressure's really on for us today. Got a bit of a crowd. Oh, he's moving. Oh. You have to watch that. He totally just shifted in the box just then. Oh, gosh, don't move. It's just a terrifying moment in time where you freeze, recheck everything, and the guys have done a perfect job, so he's OK. Oh, that was so scary. That was crazy. My heart just skipped a beat. All right, here we go, boys. We want him to go straight into the water. There's so many people really cornered in next to him. If he swings around and has a go at us, then uh, that's going to be really hard to get out of his way. Go your way. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. When you're flicking those ropes off, the crocodile has been caught, he's on fire, and anything that's near his head, if he gets a chance, he'll just go Whoa. You've got to be really, really careful at that time. Come on, Akko. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good boy. Crikey, he's big. A grumpy snake that's being really heavily handled, they bite you, but once you're gentle with him, look at him. But I'm always watching for the strike. Yep. Okay? Do you want to have a go? Sure. <laughs> All right. 
Now it's up to me to do my first rattlesnake capture. This is one of the biggest moments of my life. Fingers crossed everything goes well. <laughs> and get him moving in that direction in a straight line. Okay, so. You've got to get him moving. Yeah, you've got you know? to get him moving. Don't be in a rush, buddy. Yeah. He'll come around. Then when the snake's thinking, oh, I'm going in that direction, gently watching him all the time, pick him up by the tail. Now, this is incredibly dangerous. It looks simple, but I tell you what, they can hit you so hard and fast, you won't have time to blink. You've always got to remember that they can go from happy to kill you in one second. Uh, Wes, if you're happy, he's straightening out. I think I'm, I'm going to go for it here. Go for it, mate. What do you reckon? Yeah. And get that tail straight up in the air a bit more. Yeah, a bit more height, that's it. And then support his body. Yep. Doing great. Just watching him all yep. the time, watching him all the time. I'm on him. That's it. Ooh. Oh, Robert, mate. Perfect, beautiful, gentle. Good little snake. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at that. This is the highlight of my life. Western Diamondback. Have a go at him. And, oh, he's gorgeous. Robert. What a stunning snake. How good does that tail feel? Wow. <laughs> his little tail's so cute. And look how calm he is. He's so calm. When we got here, he was trying to kill us. My heart's pounding out of my chest, but just so thrilling to be next to this animal. Now yeah, we'll just watch that bear, that's it. Yeah, exactly, mate, spot no on. <laughs> that was the coolest thing. You picked it up so well, that mate. Was so that awesome. was so awesome. so beautiful. The way Thank you, you so much. This is Steve's art, mate. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is what it's all about. People think rattlers are evil, ugly monsters. They're not, they're beautiful animals. Let's go. Here we yeah. go back. Kiana is so special to us and so special to me personally that I've decided to jump in with her. I really want to see that first moment of freedom. I think we feel that sense that we want to make sure because of her injury that nobody's going to pick on her and that she settles in really well and it's that kind of protective feeling. She's keen. It's all right. It's all right, dude. Awesome. She's ready. She's ready to go. She's like, yes, this is it. All righty, all good, I'll jump in. OK, great. All right, all here right. we go. Is she ready, sweetheart? I think she's ready. Okay. OK. Here we go. Here we go, babe. I'm going to take a breath and... Here we go, Angel. <laughs> good luck, sweetheart. We love you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, now I'm free. It was so much fun to get in there with her and see her off. She was so sweet. She actually kind of stopped and took her time and then off she went. How incredible to see Kayana back out in the wild. Way to oh. go! What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that was the best. That was so, so good. good. Usually they kind of spook a little bit. Not at all. She came right up. She was oh. super curious. That's awesome. That was amazing. That was one of the best turtle experiences oh, that's ever. Cool. Crikey, that was amazing. Click here to watch more clips. Click here to see more from Animal Planet. And for full episodes of your favourite shows, click here to go to Animal Planet Go.